So uh, my name is Dr. Emma Ryan and I am Product Industrialization Lead as part of the Applied Technology team here at Reaction Engines and I'm also in charge of the Additive Manufacturing Strategy. So my name's uh, Robert Bond, so uh, I head up the uh, Future Programs team at uh, React, uh, Reaction Engines, in which this, uh, this uh, concept is, uh, is part of my, uh, my responsibility in that. So originally we designed uh, SABRE, which stands for Synergic Air Breathing Reaction Engine, or Rocket Engine, I should say, and that's to allow space planes to become a reality. But now, as part of applied technology, we take some of the ideas, some of the technology, some of the key concepts of SABRE, and we apply it to other industries, such as automotive, motorsport, aerospace, and energy. So Reaction Engines is, a, is really a technology company. We've been around for around about 30 years now. Our sort of initial, um, a vision, if you like, was around space access to really make it uh, easier, cheaper, and, and more able to to be uh, to be you know achieved and accessed than that. Yeah. And through that, we um, we've developed that through our uh, Saber engine technology, which is a, a novel engine concept which um, we've developed over the years. And in particular, uh, there's a. Uh, uh, the use of heat exchangers and heat, heat management is a key part of the technology. So the announcement this week is about this program, this HVX program, that was really the thing. So this is a partnership between ourselves, uh, Rolls-Royce, uh, the uh, Rapid Capabilities Office, the RF's Rapid Capability Office, and uh, the government's uh, Science and Technology Laboratory, DSTL. So we use it for that as it allows for unique geometries and unusual internal channels that you may not be possible during um, using conventional types of manufacture. We found with some of our applications, due to the internal channels required for the requirements, that we just couldn't make the part using conventional means, and additive manufacturing was the only option. So HVVX is really an experimental program, if you like. So it's about developing the high-speed, uh, high-mac, hypersonic uh, technology that will enable a very fast vehicle such as this to be uh, to be built. So this is we we aim to. Uh, develop the uh, propulsion system technology and, and the vehicle uh, to enable a, a sort of demonstrator. The core challenge is dealing with the temperature basically because as you fly very fast, as you slow the air down in the air intake, which is necessary to, to, uh, to power the engine, to provide the oxygen to the engine, as you slow the engine down at very high speeds, of course the kinetic energy of the air to turn to uh, thermal energy which, which then results in high temperature. So dealing with the high temperature aspects of the, uh, of, the, of the system is really critical. One of the great advantages of additive manufacturing is the flexibility. It's the fact you can do all these different geometries. However, that does prove rather difficult in then qualifying it because you need some sort of effective way of understanding the material properties, the mechanical properties, and you're not going to do that by printing loads and then chopping them all up and looking inside them. So there has to be some sort of statistical type defect analysis in order to qualify um, for aerospace and for other industries as well. So typically um, at Reaction Engines we use powder-based um, metal additive manufacturing for our manifolds but as I say we are also looking into it for um, heat exchangers but an important part of that is material characterization mm. which is where a lot of my job comes in. So for that we have to understand how it behaves at high temperature which a lot of our products are used in. So we work with our suppliers and test houses and other um, organizations to see how or what the mechanical properties look like at those high temperatures. We're um, developing a whole range of, of products around our thermal management heat exchanger technology, uh, but as well taking this forward to a demonstrator phase and showing that we can take a, you know, a hard um, problem, if you like, a hard challenge and take that through to a significant demonstration, working with our, our partners in doing so. Oh, I hope we're making additive manufactured heat exchanges by that point, as lightweight and as uh, complex as we need it to be. Mm -hmm.